The pirates ruled the waves until a maniac showed up. Let go, maniac! What's up and welcome back. Look at the size of this treasure. It's massive. Uh, this is a Lego puzzle. If you can't tell, I'm a Lego pirate. Okay. Now that we've got that out of the way. Let me try. This is a very hard time reading this paper. It says, to Chris Ramsey, thank you so much for trying out my puzzles. I'm a big fan of your videos and the amazing effort you put into your content. Hope my latest creation will be an enjoyable and challenging experience. Lego Maniac. Or Lego Maniac. Oh no. I have to turn the page here. Hold on. It's very difficult. Uh. I think I got it. No! Okay. <clears throat> Treasure of Barracuda. You did it. You actually found it using your grandfather's amulet and the ancient map to guide you. You discovered the location of Captain Redbeard's last legacy. Hidden deep within the soil after hours of digging is finally yours, the Treasure of Barracuda now, if you can only get it open. This is a sequential discovery. Uh, the goal is to find the golden crystal. Secondary goal, find the neon green crystal. Do not detach any pieces. It is currently on Lego Ideas, where with your vote, it can become an actual official Lego set available in stores. So I left the Lego Ideas link below, as well as Lego the Maniac's channel uh, in the link in the description. Check that out. Without any further ado, let's solve this puzzle. Okay, here we are. Look at this. Look at this. How is this? Oh, this is so heavy. This is made of Lego. How crazy is that? It looks like it's so heavy, by the way. I don't know what's inside. Oh, a little skeleton on the bottom. Uh, so my guess is this map we'll put aside for now. Oh, I guess that was here. Little lighthouse and a boat. The detail here on this map is really cool. Look at this. Going here all the way to the X. Just really beautiful. And it's like a... It's a topographical map, something you can't see from the top, but look at that. How great is that? So cool. Also, it uh, came with this. Don't know what this is, but uh, the back of it does this. And I also noticed there is, uh, this is kind of like a, uh, to know what north is here, bit of a compass. So that will go somewhere, I presume. But I think everything revolves around this treasure chest. So let's get into seeing if anything moves. These handles kind of turn, they don't do anything. The uh, tricky part of all this is not breaking it, right? Because it's Lego. I guess these are the hinges here. Oh, we have a button. At least I thought it was a button. It does not go in. Nope. Okay. Oh, see these blocks here look kind of independent. You can kind of see them sticking out. There's a lot going on on the inside too here. Try pulling. No. Oh, here we go. That goes in. That goes in. Oh, it's like a button. All right, well, what does that button do? My guess is I gotta press this button and then maybe press another one somewhere. Oh, the bottom here also, this moves. So we gotta get the skeleton out of there. Oh, so when I press this and I press the other button, 
it push. Oh, okay. <laughs> now that came out. How cool is that? That's spring loaded. Okay, that's cool. <laughs> um, oh, here. There's all these little squares everywhere. We don't know which one. Oh, here we go. This one moves now. This one here. Okay, so that one's done. Oh, it pushes out from the other side. Maybe we can pull it out? No. Ooh, this handle looks like it can come out. Check this out, it kinda... I don't believe it can come out yet, but I believe eventually it might be able to come out. How about this side? Probably same thing. Very clever. Very clever. All right, well, so far, that's pretty much all that it's given me. Hmm. And uh, the rule here is that I can't take anything apart, so, you know, I'm thinking maybe there's something on the map that I need to use, but. Maybe it opens now. Oh, so I pushed that back in and something happened. Okay, so that one and that one pushes that one out. Okay, something's got to, oh, here we go. Here we go. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, it's a cannon. And the cannon comes out, and the cannon can spin. Okay. Be right back. I just launched something into my office. There's a cannonball right here. I went in here, and that could fire out. But what does that? Uh, what does that do? Maybe. No. Man, this is so cool. Just this whole contraption over here, the way that it perfectly, like, seamlessly slides in. Looks like there's another one here now. Can't open that one yet. So what are we supposed to do with the cannonball? Or the cannon for that matter. Maybe, uh, maybe this has to go on here somehow. And I, I don't know. Or maybe it's just a prop, who knows. Cool nonetheless, we move forward thing is everything can be a piece like because everything is made in pieces so you don't know which ones are lodged and which ones are you know let's shift side to side but nothing moves down there but that opens eventually now this part pushes in which okay which takes out this part here on this side so that's good to know oh and now I'm able to push this one in which takes out this side. Okay, good to know. Now I'm just like, there's this labyrinth going on in the inside with these uh, little boxes. So I guess now it's just about finding which one, oh, there we go. That now opens up. Okay. <gasps> Underneath. Oh, get out of here, look at that, a little scroll. That's so cool. Wow, okay, let's read it. Very clever puzzle. You wish to find my treasure? Listen up. Here is, there is no X marks the spot. We pirates are simple men with little care for books and precision. We use our bodies to measure by our strides and feet after each decision. Journey at dusk, a fathom and a half, this is where you start. Head three fathoms north, Beware your crew may fall apart. Journey at dusk, a fathom and a half. This is where you start. Head three fathoms north. Beware your crew may fall apart. So this is, this is where this comes in probably. To the blood red fields, you must hurry up, else more could meet their end. The, in the pitch black of the night with a frozen star at your back, scurry to the river's bend. At the dawn of the day, you have traveled far, half a fathom still you must walk away. The treasure lies beneath, dig for your life. You have no wish to stay. Yarg, now you scallywag landlubbers, walk the plank off my ship. Okay. 
So it has something to do with the map, I presume. Unless this thing will yield more uh, gifts for us here somehow. Doesn't look like it. everything looks to be now lodged into place. This eventually might shift over like the other side. Who knows? Journey at dusk, a fathom and a half. This is where you start. I'm guessing this is the start, right? A fathom and a half. That's like one and a half of these things. Or a fathom and a half, that's where we start, right? This is where you start. Head three fathoms north. How do I know what's north? I was like, one, two, three. To the blood red fields, you must hurry up, else more can be threatened in the pitch black of the night with a frozen start at your back. Scrape to the, rivers, to the river's end. A frozen start at your back. Is that the north star, the frozen? Blood red fields. At the dawn, you've traveled far half a fathom. But he says X is not where the treasure is, right? By digging, does he mean just like take this thing apart? <laughs> interesting, interesting. Very cool, nothing going on right here. Nothing going on under here on the sides. Here, perhaps? Ooh. There's something in the map. I know that. I just feel it. Feel it in my bones. Something in the map doesn't open. Why the cannon? You know? Why 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 anything really? What's going on here? Should this go in the cannon? Hmm? Huh? Probably not. There's a place somewhere to put this down, you know? And why, look, there's different colors here as well. We have yellow, gray, green, and sort of dark blue. <gasps> like this. Check this out. Yellow, gray, dark blue, and green. So this is the way it's supposed to be. Oh, how clever. Okay, so that has to go there like this. Okay, so this is good. This actually gives us some type of like uh, direction now. Pirates are simple men with little care for books and precision. We use our bodies to measure by our strides and feet after each decision. So their body, so a pirate body, like a Lego body. Oh, so one square is probably one stride. And how much is a fathom? One fathom in feet. One fathom is six feet. So six strides is one fathom. Oh, that makes sense. So we start on the boat, journey at dusk, a fathom and a half. This is where you start. Yep. Look, one fathom and a half. No, no, one fathom would be six feet. So it'd be nine feet, right? Nine feet would be a fathom and a half. Journey at dusk, fathom and a half. This is where you start. Pitch black night with a frozen start at your back. So north is there. Head three fathoms north. Beware your crew may fall apart. Three fathoms north. So that would be 18 feet north. From where though? From this or this? Like this little lighthouse here? 18 feet north. Oh, oh north is this way, right? Because the, the north star is pointing that way. So. I'm not sure if we should count from the boat. Let's count from the boat because I feel like that's, but w it says a journey at dusk, a fathom and a half. This is where you start. So right here is where you start. But a fathom and a half would be nine feet. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine by the flower, maybe by the flower. Okay, so let's start on the boat. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So let's say we start there. Let's say, and now head three fathoms north. So that's 18, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, which is here. It then says to the blood red fields, you must hurry up else more can meet their end. In the pitch black of the night with the frozen start at your back, scurry to the river's bend. At the dawn of each day you've traveled far, half a fathom still you must walk away. At the dawn of the day. Dawn is what? Um, dawn is when the day ends, sun sets in the west. West is, uh, west is now at the dawn of day. So this is west. Wait, no, we got that mixed up. Oh, I'm so terrible. Uh, dusk is when the sun sets. Dusk is west. Dawn is east. My bad. You're probably roasting me in the comments right now. Uh, deserve, I deserve this. So we start again. We'll start here. Journey at dusk. Sun rises in the east. Dusk. That is down, right? A fathom and a half. Yeah, yeah, we did that. Okay, a fathom and a half. I'm all confused. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then we go north, 
18 steps. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. We're on this little river bank here. Frozen dart your back, scurry to the river's bend. I mean, I think we're at the river's bend. The dawn, so now we're talking, um, now we're talking east. Oh no, we had to go west first. That's what, that was, that was a problem. Dusk, dusk is sunset. Dusk is west. So that would mean up from here, which makes no sense. So let's start from here then. I'm having such a hard time with east and west and dusk and dawn right now. A fathom and a half. So nine feet dusk, nine feet to east, uh, west. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We're here. 15, 17, 18. To the blood red fields, you must, that's over here. Scurry to the river's end, to the river's bend. I, I don't know what scurrying, how many paces scurrying is, so I'm just gonna stay here. To the blood red fields, you must hurry up. Hurry up, up, hurry up. Okay, we're going to the blood red fields, right here. In the pitch black of the night with a frozen star at your back, scurry to the river's bend. Okay, hold on. Is it this side or this side? Uh, so north is there, so I would have to go south, right? Because if the, the star is at my back. So I go south to the river's bend, which is right here. Okay, this makes sort of some sense. At the dawn of the day, you've traveled far. Half a fathom still, you must walk away at the dawn, at the dawn of the day. So dawn would be west, maybe east. Half a fathom, so three steps. Either direction, one, two, three. What? Something I didn't do right here. Oh! Look! What does that do? There's a hole here. Wait, 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 wait. So this goes in there. Do we turn it? Oh, over here. Look. It's slowly opening. Oh, how cool is that? Look at that. <laughs> get out of here that's so cool an actual treasure map that this is such a cool puzzle oh my god we just keep keep going eh? okay it looks like it's at the end of it now i mean i guess we take this does this go on the button yes wait maybe the skeleton It opens, but what is it open to? Okay, there's a skeleton there. It's missing a leg. Oh, it's like a switch. There's a switch on the inside of this. And what does that switch do? Oh, it opens this. Boom, right here. Okay, nice, okay. We've got another moving part. Let's try to find Another little mechanism somewhere. Oops. Really gotta stop pulling on things. Maybe it just opens now? Okay, that comes out a little bit more than I thought it would. Okay. So now that that's out completely, keep turning this thing. What do I do from here? We get the skeleton out? Is that, the, is that what we have to do? Okay, we got the skeleton. Oh man, I have no idea what to do. Everything seems to be stuck at this point. Weird. Something we're missing. Something we're missing. Don't know what it could be. There's a switch in here where the cannon was. Maybe I gotta... Why is a cannon on a swivel also? That's another question. It's gotta be something to do with this cannon. Why else would it uh, be on a swivel like this? What's going on here? I gotta say, this is a pretty tough puzzle for a Lego puzzle. 
It's really giving me a hard time here. What would you guys do in this position? I'm curious. Maybe the, uh, maybe this guy goes in here somehow. Maybe his leg in that keyhole. See what's going on in there. Oh, it's like a rotating thing in there. Looks a lot like, yeah. So there's a thing like, uh, kind of like this, like a rotating star piece here. Uh, that's in there that's exactly like this one. Whatever's in there or something similar to that to be able to open this. So we're definitely missing a key. Uh, now where that key is, I mean, who the heck knows? Maybe it's this, maybe I could pull this out. What about the cannonball? Maybe I gotta, you did have that cannonball. It's not this guy's leg, is it? So there definitely is a key that I'm missing here. And there are still parts like these little squares that have yet to be pushed in or out and i'm maxed out on everything here i don't know what to do i'd love to uh love to know what the heck to do next i mean a true pirate would smash it open right. if i wanted to i could i'm just saying if i wanted to get what's in there i just smash it open oh this is giving me a hard time here are we done with this All right, let's start from the beginning. Press these two, that pops out. Spin to this side, push this in, this comes out. Oh, this side here. What's next after that? What is next? And that, so that the uh, handle can come out, yeah. The handle comes out, spin the wheel, open this up, push that side out. Maybe the cannon goes in here backwards. The cannon was in here. Maybe, uh, <clears throat> maybe you have to shoot the cannonball on the inside. It's a bit of a stretch, but let's try it out. Something seems to be moving in here. All right, so after spending a few hours on this last part, um, I was extremely stuck, so I did hit up the creator of this puzzle. And turns out uh, I was right. There was something in here to be pushed. And I did end up finding it thanks to his help. And it is right here. And then that. And here we go. We have the key. Now we open it up. What a cool puzzle. Really, honestly, what a this is probably the dopest Lego puzzle. Like the other one he came up with was really dope, but this one, I think, especially. <sighs> wow. Look at that. What? And we have the treasure. That is so dope. Look at this. All this little treasure on the inside. We have all the gems here. Is there anything else? Because just want to make sure. Just want to make sure. No extra surprises. Even the locking mechanism here is very cool. Look at that. Take a close look at this locking mechanism here. How cool is that? See it opens here on the sides. Wow, just brilliant. Aha, there is something up. Look at here, right here on this side. This side here. Ooh, there's something up here. There's an extra, yep, there's a compartment right here that moves. This compartment here opens up somehow. Maybe it's upside down. Maybe I gotta turn it. Hmm. 
Although it feels like we're finished, there is a final little compartment here and I need, oh my God, that's not what I was supposed to do. Let's put that back. And everything is self-contained in this lid here. It has nothing to do with the bottom part. So you can see this piece sort of uh, slide here, right here, which houses a compartment, which is right there. As you can see over on this side of the inside of the lid, there's like a, a light red tile right there. Uh, check it out. So I'm looking for differences here and you can see there's a hole right here. Ah! Wow, look at that. The real treasure on the inside of the lid. A secondary goal here. And there you go, the final crystal. <sighs> what a journey this has been. Jeez, that's crazy. All right, let's see if we can get everything back together here and work in order. Boom and boom and boom. That is now complete. Oh no, I forgot this. Uh, we'll put that in after this goes back in there somehow as well. Dude, that was a really fun puzzle. Uh, 10 out of 10. Awesome job. Well, hot dang. Oh man, I couldn't wait to take that thing off. Thanks so much for hanging out with me today. That was a super fun puzzle. Thanks to Lego Lemaniac. Do check out his puzzles below. They're really, really insane. Uh, he's an amazing creator, obviously. Probably this next to the Zelda sword, two of the best Lego puzzles we've ever had on this, pu on, on this channel. Uh, so leave a like, subscribe, and we'll see you on the next video.